Oh, hi, I didn't see you guys come in. What are you up to today, huh? Well, since you're here, um, I'm gonna have a little coffee time update and a Q&A on the solo, solar panels. Somebody wrote me and they wanted to know more about the solar, so let's, let's tell them more, you know? I tried to tell more right in the end, but it's not the same, so let's do this. Well, see, I have three panels out front, um, in front of the porch, on that greenhouse that I made. That's actually the roof of the greenhouse, but it's easier to clean them off, too. Plus, it works. The greenhouse still gets enough light from the back, the sides, and the front, so it's all set. And it keeps it shaded in the summer a little bit, too absorb some of the heat so it works pretty good actually you know so that's pretty awesome um each panel's 290 watts and that's that's what they're rated for but where the wire resistance and stuff like that you're actually getting like 260 watts out of each panel so I have three panels, so that's 780 watts out of the panel. Now the panels, all that stuff, um, I have 12 volt batteries up to it now. They're okay, but they're not my favorite thing. I don't really like them as much. Because in the camper, I got 6 volt batteries, um, go cut batteries, and they're awesome. They really do good compared to the 12 volts. So eventually, when funding allows me, I'd like to change them around and do the same thing and get go to the recycling yard and get some from the um, recycling yard, you know, like I did with the last ones and refurbish them. But the 12 will have to do for now. And then I have an Eaton um, 1550 uninterruptible power supply it's used for like servers and stuff like that but I'm gonna use it um, in hopes you seen that little looks like a porch in front of my trailer well that's actually where my class greenhouse is hopefully gonna go so I am gonna use the solar for the lights and run electric infrared heater in the greenhouse to keep it warm which that the doors to it's gonna be right in my bedroom so I'll be able to like walk into it at night. Maybe I can do some stuff with a telescope or do which would be cool or uh, even some night videos of the stars and stuff would be pretty awesome in the winter and stuff like that would be cool plus the plants. But we'll see how it goes. You know, my sisters have been trying to help me get this stuff done. Plus, one of my nephews has been working pretty hard and pitching in. And my kids here and there, so. We'll see how it goes, like I said. But, all the, the solar panels, the batteries, all that stuff was going in the dump. It was all junk. I just, the only thing I bought was two $20 charge controllers. And they're PWM, so they're they're like okay, but they're not real great. I'd rather have two um, MPPTs because they track the sun, and the PWMs don't, which kind of stink. It's like having the 12 volt batteries in the, for the house. They're um, they're not deep cycle, so it hurts them when they get just discharged too much, you know. But the deep cycle golf cart batteries in the camper, they hold a, a charge and it don't matter if you drain them, it doesn't affect them. But the big thing is maintenance with that in the water. I always check the water, make sure it's full and how it's charging. But um, I do have another inverter eventually I'm going to use in the house, but I haven't. Well, I gotta build like a switch panel for it, kinda. 
and it was broke when I got it, and I got it off eBay, and I haven't seen another one since at all. Like, don't exist. Um, but it's military, too. It came out of a M 90s M1 tank. It's the inverter for that. It has quick releases and everything. I'll record it sometime to show you guys. It's awesome though. It ran a whole tank, so it should have been a whole house. That's my plans eventually. I've had that for a while. I fixed it, put it aside till I get to the point where my battery banks are bigger and stuff. You can't start big all at once. You gotta start little and work your way up. And to let you all know, I've started a new Patreon um, for you all. So, if you want to become a Patreon, patron, you can um, go on my um, channels and become one. Um, it's five dollars a month. You get two days videos before anybody else. You get access to videos two days before anybody else. You get a Friday live stream. You all, you know, the Patreons will get a um, Friday live stream from me, so they'll be able to talk to me personally and joke around or whatever, you know. You have a good time, you know. So it's like fun to me. And when I get 500 Patreons, I made a commitment that I will um, hire an editor and try to do at least two videos. But I don't like, if I had to edit it, I'd probably do like four or five, you know. I'd put more in a week, more videos than I'd be able to, because it takes so much time editing. Some videos take six hours to edit, which it don't matter. It. But, um, yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward if you do join my Patreon, because that will make us all even closer. Plus, you'll get to know me kind of one-on-one. -on -one. All you will be able to get to talk to me personally, which the ones that I'm Patreons don't get to do like that. So, alright. I gotta get going here, but you all, you know what I always say. Be kind, be caring. Be loving, look out for each other, do one nice thing for someone today, and treat everybody like you want to be treated. And God bless you all, I love you all, and I hope you had a wonderful fourth, and I hope you have a wonderful